Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srivananda. Today's topic is beta thalassemia. Beta thalassemia is generally transmitted disorder characterized by reduced synthesis of one or more globin polypeptide chains. Molecular pathogenesis. Beta thalassemia are caused by decreased rate of beta chain synthesis resulting in reduced formation of HBA in the RBCs. Most of beta thalassemias arise from different types of mutations of beta globin gene resulting from single base changes. More than 100 such mutations are described but the important ones are transcription defect, mutation affecting transcriptional promoter sequence, translation defect, mutation in the coding sequence causing stop codon interrupting beta globin mRNA, mRNA, mRNA splicing defect. Mutation leads to defective mRNA processing forming abnormal mRNA that is degraded in the nucleus. Thus, depending upon the extent of reduction on beta chain synthesis, there are three types of beta thalassemia. Beta thalassemia major, homozygous form. Beta O thalassemia major, complete absence of beta chain synthesis. Beta plus thalassemia major, incomplete suppression of beta chain synthesis. Beta thalassemia intermedia, beta thalassemia minor or trait, heterozygous. Beta thalassemia major, beta thalassemia major, materian or coolis anemia is the most common form of congenital hemolytic anemia. There is complete absence of beta chain synthesis that is beta O thalassemia major or only small amount of beta chain are formed that is beta plus thalassemia major. There is excess formation of alternate hemoglobins HBF alpha 2 gamma 2 and HBA2 alpha 2 delta 2. Clinical features Anemia within first 4 to 6 months of life when beta chain synthesis starts marked hepatosplenomegaly due to excessive red cell destruction, extramedullary hematopoiesis and iron overload. Expansion of bones due to marked arthroid hyperplasia leading to thalassemia phases and malocclusion of the jaw. Iron overload due to repeated blood transfusions cause damage to endocrine organs resulting in slow rate of growth and development, delayed puberty, diabetes mellitus and damage to the liver and heart. Library Diagnosis Severe Anemia Blood film shows severe microcytic hypochromic red cell morphology, marked anisopoikilocytosis, basophilic stripping, numerous target cells, tear drop cells and normoblasts. Serum bilirubin is raised. Reticulocytosis Significantly reduced MCV, MCH and MCHC, raised WBC count with shift to left of neutrophil series and presence of myelocytes and metamyelocytes. Platelet count is normal but reduced in patients with splenomegaly. Decreased osmotic fragility, increased amount of HPF and HPA2 and complete absence of HPA on hemoglobin electrophoresis. Normoblastic arthroid hyperplasia with predominance of intermediate and late normoblast containing sidrotic granules on bone marrow examination. Treatment Regular blood transfusions 4 to 6 weekly to maintain hemoglobin level above 8 gram per dl. Folic acid supplementation, splenectomy in children over 6 years, iron chelation therapy with dysferexo dysferioxamine for prevention and treatment of iron overload, bone marrow transplantation. Beta thalassemia minor. Beta thalassemia minor or beta thalassemia trait is a common entity characterized by moderate reduction in beta chain synthesis. Clinical findings. Usually asymptomatic. May present with mild chronic anemia and palpable spleen. Laboratory diagnosis. Mild anemia. Blood film shows mild anisopoikilocytosis, microcyto microcytosis and hypochromia, occasional target cells and basophilic stripling, normal or slightly raised serum bilirubin. Mild reticulocytosis, decreased osmotic fragility, two-fold increase in HPA2 and slight elevation of HPF on hemoglobin electrophoresis. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.